Hey Nerdy Knitters, in this video we're looking at the butterfly stitch pattern. It's a slip stitch pattern that creates these little butterflies. You slip the yarn across the front of the work and then catch the floats up and create a butterfly. So learn how to make these butterflies in today's video and I'm sharing some tips for changing the size of the butterflies, making them larger, making them smaller, varying the pattern. So be sure to stick around to watch that too. It's the butterfly stitch pattern. I finished a repeat here and started a second repeat. Right there you can see these slip stitches in the front. You pick them up and you create these little butterflies. This is what the back looks like. It's got this dimpled tucked pattern to it. Let's take a look at the pattern. To get a copy of this just google Tanya Knits resource library or go to tanyanits.com and click on the resource library tab and you can follow the instructions and get a copy of this. Now to create these butterflies, all you're doing is slipping stitches with the yarn to the front of the work, to the right side, and you're getting these slipped stitches right there. See? All of that. Is slip. The stitches are slipped with the yarn held to the front, and then we pick them up after we've slipped enough and we create these butterflies. This pattern right here, it's a multiple of 10 plus nine stitches and 20 rows to get a full repeat. It's really not a very difficult pattern. We're knitting two, slipping five with the yarn held to the front so we can get that loop of yarn right there. Knitting five, slipping five, knitting five, slipping five, and then we have two more stitches over here to balance the pattern. Then on our wrong side rows, we're just purling across our background is stockinette then we repeat that that whole pattern it's very simple just keep repeating that until you have five strands across the front and then on the next wrong side row you will pick up all of those strands and purl them together with the stitch and that stitch there creates our little butterfly if you prefer written instructions those are down here so let's work i'm on this last row row number nine right here slipping the stitches. So let's look, see how that looks. Knit two and then it is slip five and to slip in a slip stitch pattern we always slip purl wise. We insert just like we're going to purl. Oh but I forgot. We want that yarn strand to be stranded across the front of our work for this decorative pattern. So we bring it to the front between our needles and now I slip them as if I'm going to purl. I'm slipping five stitches and I want to keep this strand fairly loose so it doesn't pucker. You can see down here I was a bit tight and that makes the fabric pu pucker up so it doesn't lay quite as flat as the ones here do. So you want to keep it a little loose. Then we move that yarn to the back, stretching those stitches out to keep our strand loose and we knit five. And then we repeat that, bring that strand to the front, slip five stitches like we're going, slip five stitches purl wise, bring our yarn to the back, and knit five again. And repeat that once more, bring that yarn to the front. Slip five stitches, put the yarn to the back, make sure you spread them out and give them a little room so we're not puckering up on that strand there. You repeat that pattern all of the way up those nine rows. So this is that pattern right there. And then after we finish those butterflies, we would offset that pattern, knit seven, slip five, knit five, slip five, and then knit seven, and that would help offset the butterflies. Now, before we finish our butterfly, I just wanted to pop back in and say, I believe you can be a confident knitter, but that really comes with understanding what's happening on your needles. And in this pattern, that means understanding how to slip your stitches and use the yarn to create this design. If you agree with me, give this video a thumbs up and be sure to click subscribe if you like to get nerdy with your knitting. Now let's get back to working our butterfly stitch. Now when we turn our work, we're going on this row, instead of purling on our other rows we would just purl, we're going to pick up those stitches. Let's 
look at how we do that. We start by purling four. Okay, and then we've got our little symbol here that's telling us we need to catch the strands and purl them together with the next stitch on the left needle. So you want to pick up those five strands, put them on your left needle. You can do it with your right needle or your left, whichever is easiest, and just get them up there. What you're going to do is purl those together. You want to, It's a bit tricky. I've got bulky yarn here to demonstrate, but I'm not sure I would work this pattern in a bulky yarn. We just want it with this first purl stitch. So we're just going to insert into all of those strands plus that purl stitch. Purl them together. And that's it. You can sort of see it right there what's happening with that. And then we will purl five and repeat that. Oh, not purl five. We will purl, we'll purl nine to, we want to get to the center of those wraps. That's worked right in that middle stitch right there. Let me see, I purled that there, that's five. Okay, so there's the wraps. I'm right, if you're not sure where you are, just make sure you're in the, the middle stitch between those wraps. It was a five, five stitch slip right there. So I'm on that middle one. This time I'll use my right needle. I'm gonna pick all of those up. Shimmy that in there. Okay, get the working yarn back on this side, slip them up here, and insert right into that stitch as well. It's a bit easier to do it with your right needle, I think. Purl them together. And then we purl nine again. We'll do that one more time and then see how that looks. Okay, right where I need to be. So I'm gonna use my right needle again. Pick up all five wraps. Keep an eye on that stitch. I only want to purl it together with this first one. So I'm going to pop those on there. They're already on my needle. So all I have to do is insert into that purl stitch, wrap it and pull it through all of them. Just like that and finish the row. I'm going to knit one row and then we'll see how this looks. There I'm knitting across the front and there's that stitch where I made the butterfly. I'm just going to knit right into it and that elongates that purl stitch that was slipped for all of those rows. If you'd like to learn more about slipping knitwise and purlwise and how to hold the yarn, whether it's to the front or to the back and how to decipher those instructions when they're in a pattern, check out the video I've linked. It's up in the corner and in the description down below. You can click on that and learn more about how to slip stitches properly. And I've got one more tip to share after I finish this row on how you can make some variations for this pattern. There we go. Knit across. Now you can see that elongated stitch catches all of our floats across the front of the work and creates these butterflies. Now this is worked in bulky yarn so it will look quite different. I think it'd be very pretty in a fingering weight, really delicate butterflies. But you can vary this pattern. I've got some tips for that right here. You could slip just three stitches instead of five, or even up to seven and make really large butterflies. Um, to make it shorter, you could slip the stitches across three rows instead of five. And another option is instead of purling them together on the wrong side row just after. You could purl across and then work them together on the next knit row. Those are all different ways to work this pattern, make it smaller, make it bigger, use different yarn. It will make a more delicate butterfly, but you can see the basic idea. When you slip your stitches and you're carrying that yarn to the front and then you pick them all up together, you get these really pretty butterflies. Now, if you like these stitch patterns and you like to get a little nerdy with your knitting, be sure to click the subscribe button down below.